All right, guys, I think it's time. We're gonna take the servo out of the blazer and put it into the high trail. It needs that brushless servo. And also, if you never wondered if them bodies were interchangeable, they are. That's actually the Bronco chassis and that's the blazer chassis right there. Fits right on the same. You just have to move the bumpers in or out. You probably already knew that, but anyway, servo change in time. Well, all right, while we're trying the body on different ones, there you go, that's the high lift with my blazer. You see, we got the front about where it would be. And then the running boards line right up. And then that's where it starts to change, right there. Bam, bam, look at that frame sticking out. The whole frame just continues on. So, there you go, that's how long that is. Bronco. Oh, what do you think of that? Now, I ain't saying I wouldn't put that body on there and let it roll, man. I mean, if you were doing something just fun, being creative, I'd go with the long chassis, just cut the uh, bed that the thing rides, you know? Take that bumper out, obviously. Pretty cool, though. Back to work on the servo. Alrighty, then. We got the servo out. Not trying to bore you with all that work. You've seen it done a thousand times. Same TRX4. Good news is, this one with the little lifter plate, I'm gonna be able to put my servo in here. I still got this KMS winch servo. Uh, I mean, servo winch, I'm sorry. We got the servo winch. That's gonna be able to go in here somehow. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount it. But it's going in. I still gotta get all the stuff out of the Red Cat to run it, but... Actually, no, I don't. I have an ESC right up there. Isn't it? Right in there, the one out of the Traxxas. The original ESC in here is going to run it. That'll work. Now I gotta get the Holmes Hobby Servo out of there. Well, all right, I figured I'd show you what we're installing. This is an older Holmes Hobby Servo. It is, uh, it's discontinued if you go on certain sites, but yet I still found it for sale. I'll show you this little link in the corner here. They're, I think it was 92 bucks. And they still have these, but like I say, even though they're a little bit older, this thing works like you wouldn't believe. It's a brushless servo. It runs on 7.4 volts. That's all I need. I'm sure for 92 bucks, you can probably find better ones nowadays, though. Just because there's so many more people making them. But this should hold up to these big wheels. And putting stock back in the other one right here, I think it'll be fine because at least it's not all beefed up. It'll be all right until I get another servo. So anyway, let's just get it in. Well, all right, we got this one installed. I haven't changed it over to 7.4 yet. We're still running on six volts. Works pretty good against me. Let's see what it does on 7.4. All right, that took all of two seconds to do. So now we got 7.4 volts. Not bad for a beast, huh? All right, I like that. That's why they're still 92 bucks. Even though they're discontinued, you can only find them in certain stores. But, I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's just a Holmes Hobby brushless servo. It's not one with its own power running, all that good stuff. But, I mean, heck. How much more you need? So, we just have to take it out and see if she holds up on the rocks now. I don't think it's going to be any issues. So anyway, that's that. We got to get the other one back in, and then we'll have to go out and hit some rocks tomorrow. All right, that one's all buttoned up, ready to go. We're just going to finish up the other one tomorrow because it's late, and then we'll go out for a run. Well, I couldn't help it. I went ahead and slapped that one back together tonight to make sure it was all going to work good. It seemed like plenty of power in this one. And at first it had, it seemed really good. And I was like, wow, why is it so good in there? And I forgot I hadn't turned this uh, 
Hobby Wing 1080 back down to the uh, 6 volt on the BEC. I was running 7.4 and it was working, but I need to look it up and see if that servo right here, the stock one, is capable of running on 7.4 volts before I actually run it that way. But this truck should be okay for now to handle with stock servo. I'll look it up. If it can run 7.4 volts, we'll definitely bump it up. So, all right. Tomorrow we'll get out and we'll test that new servo in the big truck. She's all ready to go. All new electronics. Except for the little shift servos. And there's no point in changing them unless they burn out. So, anyway. We'll see what happens tomorrow. One more thing before we get out here and go crawling. The, uh letters did get rubbed off today out there on them rocks and usually they don't come off so bad when you use this marker here they last pretty good but i didn't have that marker when i first painted these i had a uh, this cheap family dollar one i got down here somewhere and yeah i used this one it's the only one i had the other day and it looked good when i was done but it, it needed a couple coats right off the bat when you did it and it started flaking when it flexed. It, it doesn't usually do that. So, not a big deal. Once you've done them the first time, you can go over them pretty quick. Well, guys, this is not safe. Do not crawl under this, please. Don't walk under it. That's a couple hundred pounds of, in, of concrete, but check it out. Here's what we got. I rearranged. We got a climb some rocks to get up it and a nice little climb i can make it steeper but i gotta get dirt first i mean i can't i gotta have something to hold it up i know that's not its limit of steepness but i did make it to where it's like a valley so you don't scratch your truck sideways you do got to come up it like a valley thought that would be cool and then we got this to go down Maybe try to come up it if you want to. I don't think it's going to work. But let me get a truck and try it real fast. It's getting dark on me. All right, guys. Now, this is a short little run because it's already dark. I just wanted to show off this new obstacle I made. It is dangerous as all get out. It's on a plastic kid's table right now, and it's not light. But let's give her a little run. We've done the servo swap, like you've seen in the video. So the Blazer's running a stock Traxxas on six bolts, I believe. I didn't change it to 7.4 yet. And this one here is hopefully a lot better than it used to be. I like that. So let's see if we can do what we're going to try to do. Never have I tried any on this yet. This is my first attempt with any truck. Again, I'm, I'm planning it to where you have to try to straddle it maybe. Uh-oh. It might be a little harder than it looks. Yep. Let me man down. All right. Round two here. Let's try again. I was hoping it wouldn't be too easy the first time. I want it to be some fun. Trying to do a Fruit Loop challenge here. Can't go making nothing too easy. All right, okay, okay. Let me look at it the other way. I want to see the other view. Uh, the truck's wider than I was thinking when I would, when we do this, so that's even cooler. Makes it kind of fun. Here's where we got to figure out how how coming down is going to be. Try to get in the right light for you guys since it's dark, sorry. Should not be an issue for the big boy. If I have to cut out for a minute, that's because I'm waiting on my grandson and him to FaceTime me when he opens his gifts that we mailed to him. So, let's see if I can't Drive this blazer one-handed across this and film with the other hand because I don't have a mount on my controller here. So what I'm doing is trying the old thumb on there and probably not the best way. Let me go ahead and lock in the diffs. So 
So, all right. Again, now we are on a stock servo, but this truck is not all beefed up in the air, so I think that's okay. We're running flat irons now. Come on. Well, we got a little off track. I'm just going to kind of help it out a little bit, put it back on track. See if we could have made it or not. Like I say, I'm doing the one-handed thing. It's not really a fair run for this truck. I can do a lot better if I wasn't doing that. Okay, there we go. See, and then this thing, I can actually build something that goes over it the other direction, sideways, everything, if I wanted to. Now, this is kind of hard to do, coming uphill, backwards. What can we do here? All right, come on now, don't, don't hold me up here. We're just going to give her a little bump. Oop. That was not a little bump, was it? That was uh you're about to die bump. Huh, can we save this is the question. Wow, we did. We saved it. Another view you'd have seen that was coming off the edge there. Now, if I can go down this, I might be able to come up it. Okay, I'm hoping I can come up it. I didn't want it to be all steep. I could have made it a winch point, I guess. Them rocks down there are a little bit high for this bumper. Not. We're gonna try the big boy coming back up it. Just because I got the controller mounted here, so let's do that. Sorry. Steering should not be an issue now. And I know this video is going to be a little hazy and blurry because it's already dark outside. I'm sorry about that. We've been running all day and finally got here today to work on this. And it was dark. Oh, okay. Come on. Wow. Sorry, I like amuse myself sometimes. Oh, see, we got rocks coming off of it. Okay. Okay. I enjoyed this obstacle already. I guess because it's something I got to work toward getting up and down. It's not simple. Oh boy. Let me back up so we can see what's up. I think I could go just a touch steeper with it. Now, any other truck would have just bumper dived. Right there. Look at that. Yeah, any other truck would have just said, go thunk. So, that's a cheery old lost place for someone else, then, isn't it? Well, let's go back over it one more time. We're here, might as well. Alright. Whew, it's hot out here now. I mean, it's actually not bad, but... Man, this truck is fun. I gotta hook my uh, selfie stick up on the other controller so I can make these videos still. I got another one to put on it, but. Alright, I'm going to see if I can one hand the blazer back up it this way. I might as well try it. Might not be my strong suit here, but oh well. 
So if I'm over here pointing the wrong controller, don't think it's gonna work so good on this. But. Not to mention my, I get this to come up it, there we go. I don't want it to, uh, there we go. Sorry, if I get the right angle, you might be able to see it better. I'm sorry. Let me turn the light on. Maybe that'll work. Bam. There you go. Should have done that a while back, huh? Ooh, boy. Come on there, Gilligan. Show us what's up. Flat irons can do it, can't they? Oh, oh. Got pieces of rock coming out, but that might make it easier. Oh, shit. Ah, we made it up there, though. That little rock that come off the concrete's the only reason we just kind of lost that little slide. Let's see if I can still pull out of this. Uh-oh, shit. My diff caught, but we're good, I think. I think I could actually straighten it up. Look at that. That's some good flex on that machine because my back tire is way up in there. You can see it. Okay. Now, there's that bumper dive I was talking about, though. There we go. I'm putting stock bumpers back on this truck, I think, too. I mean, I've already put my stock ones back on the big boy. I kind of wish I would have bought another 27 turn for the big truck instead of the 21. Even though it's slow, it's not fast with either motor. Both motors are sort of slow, but that little more finesse on the takeoff is pretty dang cool. Come on, can we do this? One-handed again, left-handed. Uh, well, actually it's my right hand, which is backwards for me. Oh yeah. Uh oh, get back up there. I like this obstacle. If I hit that right, I come off it just right. Now, coming off of this on a low truck, you see I'm already getting off the side stem because of my, this one, I got the metal rock sliders. That's probably the problem right there. They stick down another half inch. It's funny that stock items probably clear better than the upgraded shit. There's that 1080 control with the 27 turn. It's not bad. This servo is not hindering this truck by going back to a stock one. I mean, that big truck needed the bigger servo, and that's all there was to it. And I don't have money to go rush out and buy one. So, I put the one I had in there. Well, all right, guys. I guess since I got some light on the subject, I'm going to run this one one more time across. Let's watch this beauty climb. Oh, next time I'll video it actually. <laughs> so let's watch it climb and then I didn't even get it on camera. I love that it clears right there, though. So, all right, guys. What do you think of the new obstacle? I've decided that since I'm wanting to have a little bit of a get-together eventually, I want to, if I'm able to, at least spend, you know, an hour each day building one little obstacle or 
straightening up one of my obstacles, one or the other, either straightening up something, realigning whatever I got to do, or add a new little piece here and there. I got plenty of material over yonder to work with on wood. I just don't really have the tools here. All my stuff's in the big work van at the warehouse what my uncle parks at, so I don't really have what I need at home. I need a chainsaw, really. Just, that's one more thing also is this, this woods right here, it's full of briars. That's why I don't go in it, but the spring, or winter, I mean, I'm going to chainsaw me a path on through all the way across and come back out over here, way over here somewhere. So it's too dark to see right now, so I guess we're going to call it. I really appreciate all the new subscribers that's come checked out the channel recent. I always appreciate all my old ones, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.